Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to download, install and configure EMG UCV in Visual Studio 2015. My name is Akhtar Jamil. Today I'm going to show you how we can download EMG UCV, then download Visual Studio and how to configure a project for reading and displaying an image in EMG UCV. It's very simple and let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is go to emgu.com uh, or directly you can go to sourceforge.net projects slash emgucv to download emgucv. Here is the emgu uh, main website. From there you can click on the sourceforge and go to this sourceforge project or directly you can go to this web project and on sourceforge net and they click on the download button so I have already downloaded it I will just go to the download folder where is my download folder here is the download folder you can see this uh, lib emg ucv to install that you need to just double click on it and then you just need to hit next 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 and that's it you can see the location of this uh, folder since I have already installed it so I'm not going to install that that's very pretty simple in EMG you see you see a, a, a variety of versions available but uh, the, they can be installed side by side I am interested uh, right now in this CUDA version of it and after installation you will see something very much similar to this one the next step if you want to develop uh, with uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention remember if you want to uh, install without CUDA you have to just directly click on the download this is uh, just for the desktop application without CUDA if you want the CUDA version of it you just need to do something a little more go to the files and then this EMG UCV folder inside it click on that and this will give you the archive of all the versions so far available go to the desired version that you want to work with and here you see different versions the versions with uh, underscore CUDA underscore CUDA one is the self extracting file and the other is a zip file and this one is without the CUDA so if you're working with the CUDA version you have to download one of these otherwise uh, you can download this so this is the link that was showing in the main folder so right now I am working with the CUDA so I have you can see the install the CUDA version of 3.1 the next thing that we need is the IDE uh, for this development I am considering Visual Studio 2015 go to visualstudio.com and uh, click on the downloads then you will see the available downloads the community edition is absolutely free right now we have visual studios 2015 available if you want to work with this i think it will work fine but i have downloaded visual studios 2015 to download that just you need to click this plus sign and you can install either the dot iso version or the web installer you need to just download it and then install it i'm not going to cover the installation of visual studios 2015. once the development environment is ready then time to go and test developing a simple application this is the visual studios 2015 i'm going to click on new project and in visual c sharp i'm going to select a console application let me give it a name tutorial one so we have to do uh, two or in fact three steps the first step that I need to do is to tell this project my visual studio project that I need to use visual uh, EMG or CV to do that right click on uh, references add reference go to click on this browse go to the location where you have installed your EMG UCV right now as I told you that I'm I want to use 64 bit CUDA version of it I need to click on that go to the bin folder and here you can see 
uh, different DLLs associated with uh, EMG UCB. Right now, uh, here you can see the debugger visualizer for Visual Studio 2015. This is for user interface elements with uh, user interface elements DL. Right now, I'm going to use the uh, cv.world DLL. It covers all of the components inside the EMG UCV and for this application I only need this step and uh, let me use it in my application by using statement use EMG UCV this will include the whole library and uh, inside uh, sorry EMG UCV we have the CV namespace and uh, for the emgucv.cv I need the structure that basically defines the basic data structures those are required for uh, visual uh, for using in my application the next thing that I need to do is to include all those open CV DLLs that I need to use which are wrapper for my which are used by my application I need to go to add existing items and uh, again I need to go to the same EMG UCV folder and then again in the bin and in 64 since I'm using the 64 bit version these are all the open CV DLLs that I need and my EMG UCV is using so I need to select all of them so here go you go all these DLLs and once I have the DLLs I need to shift click on the first one and shift click on the last one to select all of them and do one important point that I need to do is to copy to output directory you can see I want them always to be copied into my uh, output folder so that my application will be directly using them so this is the second important step the third and the last step you need to do is to make sure that since my operating system is 32 uh, is 64 bit I need to make sure that I'm using the platform target to six, uh, 64 if you if you are using 32 bit operating system you don't need to do that but if I do not do this for 64 bit operating system it will generate an error so the time is to read an image let's say the file name is my, there's a an image located in my D folder lina.jpg I'm going to create an image data structure and this I want to read it the BGR and its color uh, def is in bytes and I call it IMG and I can pass you can say you, you can pass a bitmap image since I don't have uh, neither data but I can pass the file name I have the name of the image that I want to read and then I want to display this image CV invoke dot I am show and uh, the name of the window is say image and uh, image file and uh, just to make it wait for a moment I call it until and unless user do not click on it and then it will be waiting for us so that's it it's just the the name of the image file that i want to read and then i pass the name of the file to the default to the constructor of the image bgr is the uh, type of the, the image that i want to read blue green red and this is the depth that i am passing for the image uh, type and finally I use the I am show function of uh, CV invoke class and this is the name of the window and the image I have passed and this is just for waiting until I do not close the window so let's run it and wait for the output
the console has displayed but waiting for Lena oh finally the image of Lena has appeared so with that this is the end of this uh, tutorial and in next tutorial we will be talking in depth about how to create a GUI based application for EMGU CV